Tukhari Chant First Guru, 12 months. The creator of all is one, the only one. He is realized by true Guru's grace. Listen thou, my Lord. Each one enjoys peace or suffers sorrow as a result of deeds done by him in the past. Whatever thou givest, that is good. O God, the creation is thine. Of what account am I, my Lord, without thee? I cannot live even for a moment. Without my beloved, I am miserable. I have no friend. It is by the Guru's grace that I drink nectar. Absorbed in God's creation, we are forgetting the formless Lord, whose worship is the best of all actions. Nanak is like woman waiting along the path of her Lord. Listen to his prayer, thou who art pervasive in myself. The sparrow hawk cries, beloved, and the cuckoo sings the melodies. The bride enjoys all the players and merges in the being of her love. When she becomes pleasing to her Lord God, then she merges in his being. She is a happy wedded bride. In the high mansion of nine doors, well established, she lives with Lord, the enemy of evil. All creations is thine. Thou art my love. Night and day I make marry in thine love. Nanak says the sparrow hawk of the mind cries spouse, my spouse, and the songs of hawk and cuckoo give true delight. Listen, thou God, my beloved, I am drenched in thine love. With my mind and body, I repeat and utter thy name. Thee, I do not forget even for a moment. How can I forget thee even for a moment? I live by singing thy praise, O Lord. I am a sacrifice unto thee. No one belongs to me. To whom can I belong? Without the Lord, I cannot live. I have grasped the shelter of God's feet and abide there. Thereby my body has become immaculate. Nanak says, I have obtained deep vision and peace, and by Guru's word my mind is in poise. It rains in torrents of elixir. Joyful are its drops. When friend the Guru meets is a natural way, then love with the Lord is established. God comes into the body temple when it pleases him, and the bride rising up utters his praise. In every home, the spouse enjoys the chaste brides. Why has the spouse forgotten me? The lowering clouds have overspread the sky. The rain is pleasant and the Lord's love is pleasing to my mind and body. Nanak says, when ambrosial holy word rains, the Lord graciously comes into my home. In the month of Chet, the spring is lovely and humming bee makes pleasing sound. The forests are blooming in front of my door. I yearn for my love to return home. How can the bride obtain peace when the spouse does not come home? With the torment of separation, her body is declining. The cuckoo, sitting on the mango tree, sings beautifully. How can I bear the pain of my mind? The humming bee is hovering over the blossoming twigs. Oh, my mother, how can I survive? I am dying with the pangs of separation. Nanak says, in Chet, serene peace is obtained. If the bride finds God, her spouse in her home. The month of Besak is pleasant when the tree twigs adorn in new colors. The bride is anxious to see God at her door and prays, Come, my love, come, take pity on me. Come home, O oh my beloved, take me across the difficult world ocean. Without thee, I am not worth even a shell. Who can appraise my worth if I please thee? I see thee and show thee to others, O my Lord. I do not consider thee afar. I believe thee to be within me and I realize thine presence, my Lord. Nanak says in Vesak, one who has his mind absorbed in faith, in his word, meets his approval. Auspicious is the month of J. Why should I forget my beloved? The earth burns like a furnace. The bride supplicates to the Lord. The bride makes supplication and utters his praise. By singing the Lord's praise, I become pleasing to him. The detached Lord abides in the true mansion. If he permits me to go to him, then will I go to him. Humble and powerless is the bride. Without the Lord, how can she obtain peace in the world? Nanak says in Jait, she who realizes him becomes like him and grasping his qualities through his grace she meets with him 
auspicious is the month of asar when the sun blazes in the sky the earth bears suffering and is dried up and heated like fire the heat dries up moisture and men die in anxiety even then sun does not get tired in his task the sun's chariot moves on the wife looks on for the shade and grasshoppers wail in the forest she who departs tying the bundle of sins suffers sorrow hereafter and she who meditates on the true lord obtains peace nanak says she who has surrendered her mind to god her death and life are with the lord in savan be thou joyful my mind the season has come when clouds rain my mind and body love my spouse but my darling has gone abroad my beloved does not come home i am dying with the sorrow of separation the flash of lightning terrifies me lonely in my couch i am greatly grieved o oh, my mother i am dying of pain without god how can sleep and appetite come to me the raiment affords no comfort to my body nanak says she alone is a happily wedded wife who merges in the being of her beloved spouse in bhado the bride is in bloom of youth and strays in doubt but she afterwards regrets the ponds and meadows are filled with water it is the rainy season the time for merry making it rains during the dark nights how can the young bride have peace the frogs and peacocks shriek beloved my beloved cries and shouts the pied cuckoo and the snakes go about biting the mosquitoes sting and the pools are filled to the brim without her lord how can the wife obtain comfort nanak says i will ask my guru and walk accordingly whither soever my lord is thither shall i go in asu come o my beloved the wife is pining in suffering and is dying if the lord makes her meet then alone can she meet with him but the bride is strained by the love of another when the bride is disfigured by the falsehood then the spouse forsake her then bloom the water reeds summer is left behind the winter season lies ahead seeing display my mind wavers all over the ten sides the boughs are green and lush green that which slowly ripens is sweet nanak says meet thou me my love in asu the true guru has become my mediator in katak whatever pleases the lord that is recorded in the mortal's destiny the lamp lighted by the essence of enlightenment burns steadily god's love is the oil of the lamp that unites the bride with her groom the bride is in bliss and blooms she whom sin kills is not fruitful at her death but when killed by the marriage then she dies really they whom thou o lord blessest with thy name and devotional service sit in their own home even then their hope rest on thee nanak says o lord open the shutters of thy door and meet me 